Okay, so we felt into the various curves of the spine. And now I'm going to have you think about a new curve, which is the curve of the tail. Right now we don't have tails, but we do have tail bones. And the tail bone, if it were longer, would be a tail. And so in some sense, even though the tail bone is curving under and a primary curve, it does seem to somehow have the energy of the feeling, the sensation, that's what I mean by energy, but the energy of an outward curve, right? And if I had a tail. And something that sort of points to that is the way that, as we mentioned in another video, the sacrum tends to be a little bit nutated, a little bit knotted. So there is, even in a bone that is curved sort of forward, right? as a primary curve, there is a tendency to rock back. And this is gonna help give you that sort of natural wide pelvis, as well as the balance from using a tail, actually using what we do have of a tail back there. So go ahead and stand up and begin to rock your pelvis back and forth with the focus and emphasis on the tail. Now I still have a long way to go and explore with my whole body, but this has been a really interesting one to explore because I found that as I focused on the tailbone, I start to feel all sorts of muscular pulls and things through my whole pelvic region. And that was a little embarrassing at first. And then I had to realize, no, this is actually the way it's meant to work. The fact that it's embarrassing is some strangely imposed social rule. So going back to feeling the tailbone moving, literally wagging as you rock. And then imagine you have a tail and tuck the tail under like a dog and extend the tail back. So people who do yoga will know this kind of movement and they can use this kind of imagery when they're doing like a cat cow. Right, so I'm just rocking my pelvis and feeling the emphasis on the tail, swinging and moving now in different directions and see if the tailbone, as you swing the tailbone, it can reverberate up to create movement above. And see if that feeling of having a fifth curve, right, it would be a secondary curve, actually can help you balance the four curves. So I'm just moving the tailbone and rocking and I might actually try a gentle back bend and then a roll forward to feel that sort of cat-cow arch and flex movement and then feel how the centered position can come back and really come from the rooting of the tailbone, that like swinging back. There's that classic dinosaur, dinosaur tail image. And then also you could think of like a tripod with the sit bones being the front two and the tailbone being the back and a sort of widening between the three of them. And this is going to create that fifth curve of the spine with your imaginary tails. If you enjoyed this video, sign up for the Embody Space newsletter and share the link with a friend. You can also find original content on Facebook and Instagram.